Hey guys, welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. Before I get into this week's awesome Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I wanted to talk to you about Black Friday. We're running a site-wide sale where you can pick up DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro 10, and Motion Tutorials for a whopping 35% off using this code right here. So check that out on our site using the link below. Now onto our tutorial. Have you ever sat down in Final Cut Pro 10 and wanted to create a graphic or title, but you weren't sure what colors to use, or perhaps you wanted to experiment with some colors? Well, for some time, I've been using this great iOS app that allows you to record all of the colors around you, then edit them and save them, then ultimately import them into Final Cut Pro 10. It's awesome. This first app we'll look at is in the iOS store, and it's called Adobe Capture. It's a free app, you don't have to pay a subscription for it, but it's available for both iPhone and the iPad. I've already downloaded it, so I'll tap open. At the top of the interface are a number of options for allowing you to capture different content using the built-in camera of your device. You can capture materials, shapes, and even typefaces. I'm mainly interested in capturing colors. Often when you're building a title, a motion graphic intro, or a lower third, you need to choose a particular color palette. Now that color palette can be dictated to you by your client, or you can use the world around you to capture your own color palette. I'm going to tap the camera button along the bottom, and it will bring up this interface. As I move my iPad around, there are these color targets that are scanning the different color tones in the frame. So for example, if I move my iPad over this colorful director's chair in my room, the color targets are responding to my camera movement in real time. Now, you may not want to use a piece of furniture for your color palette. There are a lot of objects around you that make great color palettes. For example, I have this painting of this beach scene hanging on my wall. Notice as I move the camera, the color targets react to the colors in the image. The app attempts to grab five samples of the various earth tones in the painting. When you're happy with the colors you see represented on the side of the UI, just tap once to freeze the image. If you don't like the samples you've captured, you can tap again to unfreeze the image, and the app will choose another five samples. Also, you don't have to worry if the painting or image you're shooting is not in focus, because you're only sampling the color. So now I just take my finger and move one of the five color targets over the frozen image and choose the tones I like. For example, I prefer some of the darker blue tones in the ocean, and maybe the lighter blue in the sky. I'll sample some of the lighter beach sand, and some of the darker sand. All of my changes are reflected in the samples along the left. When you're happy with your samples, tap Save. You can edit each color further by tapping a color swatch and then making adjustments with the color wheel and the sliders. I'm going to tap Save in the upper right. Then tap the tiny X in the lower right to return to the main asset library. On this page, you'll see your saved palette as a color theme. In this case, Color Theme 4. You can see here that I've already saved three other color palettes. By tapping the ellipse, you can rename your color palette. I'll type out Beach, and then tap Save. The next step is to airdrop this color palette over to my iMac, so I can use it in Final Cut Pro 10. Now before I do that, I want to show you another app that you'll find really useful. This one's called Paintings of Masterpiece. What I like about it is that it's an app that contains a number of famous paintings that have been scanned into the app that you can use for creating your color palettes. I mean, you really can't go wrong sampling color palettes from masters like Van Gogh, Cezanne, and Michelangelo, to name a few. So back in Adobe Capture, my camera is pointed at my iPhone sitting on a little desk tripod. I'm going to choose a painting from the app, then move close enough to fill the frame to get good samples from the painting. This particular painting is one called Sistine Madonna from Raphael, circa 1500. And now I'm going to refine the samples by moving the various color targets. As I select various tones, the sample chips to the left update with my selections. Now that I have my selection, I'll tap the check. Tap Save. And go back to my library. I'll rename my color palette Raphael. And now I need to get this palette over to my iMac. So I'll tap this little ellipse button at the bottom, tap Export As, and I'll use AirDrop to send it over to my iMac Pro.
So now I'm in Final Cut Pro 10 and I want to create a title based on that color palette. In the Textures category of the built-in generators, I'm going to select this gradient and press E to add it to the timeline. And then in the inspector, I have these two color chips here, one for the top of the gradient and one for the bottom. Clicking on one of them will bring up the Max Color Picker. Now I could use a standard color picker along the top, but the one I'm interested in is this Image Palette option. Using the gear, I'll select that and choose New from File. Then navigate to the color palette I airdropped and click Open. Along the top is my color palette, and at the bottom is the painting. So for example, I could choose one of the orange tones for the top part of the gradient. For the bottom of the gradient, I'll select the lighter orange, or perhaps a lighter blue. What's great about this workflow is that you can select your colors directly from the image in the color picker. I'm going to add a title by pressing Ctrl T. I'll double click the title and scale it up a bit. I don't care too much about the typeface at this point, but what I do care about is the color of the title. I'm going to select the cream color from the image. So this quick title is using colors that originally came from Raphael's famous painting. And because I have the actual image of the painting here, I can select directly from the painting itself if I want. So you're not limited to just five samples. I'll select the sample eyedropper from the color picker, then choose a magenta tone from the subject's robe. So hopefully those apps opened your eyes to some exciting new creative possibilities. And don't forget to check out our Black Friday sale currently going on this week on our website.